everybody! Thanks for stopping by my everything room. Today I'll be showing you how to make a fabric mailing envelope. If you've been following my blog, you know that I've already made one of these and sent it to my sister-in-law as an experiment, and it did get there in one piece with no problems. This is an easy and fun project. It's a special way to send someone a gift in the mail, and the person receiving the gift can even reuse this fabric mailer and send it to someone else. So let's get right to it. Start by gathering your supplies. Okay, to start, you'll need your coffee. <laughs> Just kidding, I need my coffee. You might need coffee. Um, you'll need your sewing machine, needle and thread, some pins, a cutting mat, rotary cutter, ruler, three pieces of uh, fabric cut out, two are quilting cotton um, that I cut from Fat Quarters, and one, this one is felt, but I actually would suggest the fusible iron-on batting. Um, that worked really great for the last mailer that I did. This is just all I have right now is the felt. I think it's going to work fine though. Um, these are each cut at 12 inches by 16 inches, and you can make them whatever size rectangles you want your mailer to be. Um, you're going to need some type of rectangular shape to trace out your window on the front of the mailer. And I just used four index cards taped together to trace my rectangular shape. Just remember whatever size you want it, uh, it's going to be a little bigger than this. And you'll find out why when we do the, when we start to make it. But your rectangle will be just a little bit bigger than what you've got here. Um, some Velcro and whatever paper you're going to use to put your address information on. And I'd also suggest at the end that you have a hand needle uh, and thread so that you can actually do some quick stitching together just to get it secure for when you mail it out. And that's it. Let's get started. Okay, next step, you're going to fold your big long rectangle so that the wrong sides of the fabric are facing now. So you see the pretty side on the outside here. You're going to press the seam down, it's just going to make it easier to work with. And then you're going to hem, I haven't done it yet, but you're going to hem the um, separately the top of each piece of fabric here. Hem it so that you don't have raw edges up here. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do after you press and hem, so you can see I have my hemmed edges up here and my pressed seam, um, lay it so that the inside fabric is facing up, and then you're going to just fold it up to kind of get an idea of where you want the flap to go. So I'm folding up about there, and then this is going to be my top flap right here. Um, so it's going to go down just like that. And then when I have it where I want it, I'm going to flip it over. And I'm going to take my, it's hard to do with one hand, I'm going to take my um, rectangle, which I had to cut a little smaller given how big I'm making my, how small I'm making my envelope this time around, um, and place the rectangle where you want it. That's going to be where your window is. Once you place that, you can use um, 
you know, I, I will just actually open my fabric up right on the cutting mat and just cut around it with my um, rotary cutter. You can use whatever method you want to cut the rectangle out of just your outer fabric. So open it up, you place it, mark it, and cut around. Okay, so I cut my rectangle out and the next thing I did was I put little slits using my rotary cutter. They're about a quarter of an inch maybe, each one, diagonal at the corners. And that's so that we can then go fold them towards the wrong side and hem them so we have finished edges around the window. So that's going to be your next step. Okay, so what I've been doing um, is I attached the two um, the two fabrics up against each other pretty side to pretty side. See there's the, the ugly side of the window and there's the pretty side there. And then I'm just I, sewing up the sides, the long sides now. So I'm almost finished that part. I'm using a quarter inch seam. Okay, so now we're going to, we've sewn the sides together, and now we're gonna fold it up like this, where we want it folded so that there's a little bit left over for our flap at the top, like that. And what's gonna happen is, I'm going to actually um, attach some Velcro in between these two to keep that closed, and I'm also gonna do two, two pieces of Velcro here to keep that closed. But before we do that, we have to sew down the sides one more time to make our pocket for the inside. 